Monday motivation for most successful people never worry what others are doing, focus on yourself. Your biggest video is because of me. I am your dad. If I make $60,000 in one day, I come here to my bed and I cry myself to sleep as a failure. $60,000 for me is a bad day. And the Mercedes that you drive around in, your dad bought it for you. You don't make any money. Real great motivation from uh, Jake Paul. If only the prick could follow his own advice. Kind of like the inbred brothers of Team 10, Chance and Anthony. Remember why they were so mad at Rice Gum? You don't make fun of other people. That's not just, what it's, it's just about. just messed up, bro. Then Tessa, you're the gonna call a girl ugly? Boy. There's no point or reason to ever call a girl anything other than beautiful. All you're doing is putting them down. Like, For think no about, reason, bro. You're literally calling a girl ugly. Idiot. Like, why? Here's a tweet from one of the inbred brothers a few days ago. At Banks, it's not even about you. Your girl's a fox. You're literally calling a girl a fox. Like, idiot. Like, why? For think no about, reason, bro. Someone really needs to confront these bullies. No one should be calling girls anything but beautiful. There's no point or reason to ever call a girl anything other than beautiful. And while we're going through the scumbags of Team 10, Nick Crumpet. Chilling with the queen this Saturday hey, night. Hey. Niggas in my city this Saturday hey, night. Hey. Driving on the left side of the road tonight. He, he's threatening to sue people. He's gonna sue everyone. Because apparently him saying, we can do business while I suck your dick to someone trying to join Team 10 isn't enough proof to accuse him of being a sexual predator. He tweeted out some long shit that I can't be bothered to read. It's boring. But basically what he's trying to do is scare people into just shutting up and not talking about this. Nick, the only people you should be suing is McDonald's because they fucked your shit up. England is my city this Saturday night. England is mine, you fat fuck. So with him going out trying to sue people, now it's come to light that when Nick used to work for a social media company, he talked very strangely to some of his old clients. One of his clients tweeted out, It feels so weird drawing again. I've missed it so much. In which Crumpet, up to his usual antics, replies, Draw my penis. In which his client, Jake, responds with, Go to bed, you naughty boy. There was also another really strange tweet from another one of his clients saying, At Nick Crompton, someone is wanting some nude pics. Just ask. I'll send. So, uh, you know, this information, along with what we talked about in my last video, the whole Mick Mayo situation, it, seem, it seems Nick Crumpet likes to give his clients the uh, special treatment. Sexual predator. This Saturday night. So the hashtag Jake Paul is over party, it's back again. We're all in the party. The party's commenced. Everyone's fucking popping the champagne because the Martinez twins, they exposed Jake Paul for something, you know, we would never expect that he was a bully. He was making jokes about us all the time. When, when someone is not laughing with you, why you need to make jokes about him? Like, why? So, w it wasn't respect, and we thought like, we're from another country, uh, you can make fun of us, or because we don't know English, you can make fun of us. So, we started thinking, is he bullying us? Are we fucking surprised anymore? Apparently some Jake Paul fans are, because he lost quite a lot of subs ever since the Martinez twins made this video. You just have to look at Team 10's history to know this is a recurring theme. I mean, Alyssa Violet left or got kicked out because Jake Paul treated her like shit, played with her emotions and cheated on her. Max got kicked out of Team 10 because he came forward and proved that FaZe Banks was innocent when Jake Paul and his assistant were trying to say that he assaulted his assistant and were pushing this fucking lie. But Jake Paul doesn't like good, honest people with a conscience, a good moral compass. So, you know, he kicked, he kicked Max out. Fuck that guy. And now the Martinez twins are coming out and saying that Jake Paul bullied them and treated them like shit. It's just a great theme. Team 10 seems like such a wonderful place to be. This Saturday night. Well, there's so many people leaving Team 10. It just reminds me of when, remember when BuzzFeed, all these employees were leaving and making why I left BuzzFeed videos. However, unlike that, in this situation, the common denominator is Jake. Everyone had a problem with Jake Paul. But amongst all this drama and chaos, the important thing to remember is stop internet bullies. Come on. So apart from the bullying, the Martinez twins said that Jake apparently forced them to hump each other. I know you guys saw this video, and I know you were like, this thing oh, is right. weird. Yeah. This thing is weird. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys right now. <laughs> I 
I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, but with the, with the sad music and, you know, what they're doing, it just makes it way more funny because, you know, if Jake Paul did make them do this, I guess that's fu that is fucked up, but the sad music just... I found that part quite kind of funny. I don't know why. Also, I don't know why Jake's making a pair of twins hump each other. Fucking weirdo. Also, because they're Spanish, Jake apparently used racial slurs towards them. He said to us, that he was saying to us all the time, Beaner. Like, we found out what was Beaner, and we were like, how he's joking about that? Like, he cannot joke about that. He was saying to us, Beaner, and there's in blogs, that he's calling us Martiner. Martiners. No, Ma no Martinez, Martiners. So Martiners is like beaners, but Martinez, if you can tell. And on top of all of this, Jake Paul wouldn't send the money that they earned to their mum in Spain. When we did a friend deal with, with Tim Ten, we were like, yo, Tim Ten, can you guys send, send it, it to, to my mom? To my mom, because she needs money. Like, like, and I'm, I'm not rich. Like, I'm this sending thing, all this thing for this, my mom. And all the money, they keep it for, for them. Guys, I asked them about a ba about bank account in LA, in the like, USA, and they're like, you don't, you guys don't, don't have, have visas, visas, so you guys can. And then I found out now you can have a bank account in LA without any permission. So the reason is like, they were lying to us to have our money. Jake made an apology video on Twitter where he only focuses on one thing, and that's the pranks. You know, the Martinez twins said the pranks were, you know, making them annoyed and they made them feel like they were being bullied. And that was the only thing Jake focused on when there was a lot more he could have, you know, tried to apologize for. What's up, everybody? Um, I'm, I want to address the Martinez twins situation. Nobody should ever feel bullied. And I, I truly apologize for not doing a better job as a leader and, and as a friend. Pure and simple. I owe you guys an apology. And we are in the business of pranking each other and creating video content around those pranks. However, it's obvious that with the language barrier between us, the twins weren't always fully aware of what was going on. And I should have done a better job of making sure they were fully informed about these pranks. Pranks are elaborate and tough for them to understand. And that's all a part of the business in many ways. But again, I should have been better at helping them understand we are creating content not trying to single them out, and absolutely not ever trying to make them feel uncomfortable or force them to do things. You know, it just leaves out the rest of the shit that they accuse them for, like the racial slurs and the money. But one thing I've picked up from all of this is Jake Paul loves to call Team Tennis family. They're such a great big family. You know, we've got Nick Crompton asking people for sexual favors to join this happy family. We got Alyssa Violet, she got cheated on, she got her mind fucked with by Jake in this happy family. Now we've got the Martinez twins who are being bullied in this happy family. And to prove Team 10 isn't one happy family and they're such a great family, they love each other. One of the youngest members of Team 10, Justin Roberts, who's 15, the only reason he's in that team is because his dad is rich and I've heard is an investor in Team 10. Now bear with me because I don't give a fuck about this Justin Roberts kid. I have to I'm gonna have to read this shit off my phone because I honestly, I haven't memorized this. I don't give a fuck about this kid. But this information I had no idea about and it makes so much sense. So, Justin Roberts, who is the kid who's 15 years old, basically his dad is Mark Roberts, who's a famous sport agent, who, you know, basically what he does is he hooks celebrity up to like courtside seats, NBA games, NFL games, whatever. He just hooks them up, right? He's got connections with big Hollywood celebrities. I mean, here's a picture of Drake going to Justin's 15th birthday. And if you still don't believe me, it's a Wikipedia page for his dad, which says that he's a sports agent and that he's someone that works with celebrities. And he used to be a baseball player, I think. So it is definitely him. And, I, and I've seen this Justin kid in a few vlogs. And I always thought, what the fuck does this kid do? You know, you have the inbred brothers and snake bitch. They are talentless fucks, don't get me wrong, but they have a purpose in Team 10. This Justin kid, he's so awkward on camera. I don't really know if I like you or not yet, but you're the only other girl in the house, like, we're gonna have to hang out. So yeah, I mean... He does absolutely nothing and he's young. Literally, the only reason he's in Team 10 is because his dad's rich, his dad has been hooking Jake Paul and Team 10 up with stuff, he's been investing in Jake Paul's company, and that is literally the reason. His son just got in Team 10 because probably his dad probably asked because he's a spoiled little shit. So Jake, stop the bullshit of we're a big family, Team 10. We're such a great family when we all know and I've shown everyone that you're only using Justin for his famous dad who has a lot of money and massive connections with people like Drake. 
in Hollywood and in, in, in the industry. Everyone who's left Team Taylor said how much they've been treated like shit by you. And like the Martinez twins said in their video, you only care about yourself. He only cares about, about his name. Him, himself, his, his, his name. Himself. And one clip from the Martinez twins video really stood out to me. And I don't know why they put it at the end because not as many people would have seen this clip. But this clip really shows and proves how Jake Paul just doesn't care about anyone else but the vlog and, you know, his content and him. That is all he cares about. This clip, I think, is probably one of the best to show that. Well, I can't say we didn't expect that to happen. You have his waiver, right, Nick? What happened? Is it just on his foot? Someone translate. He's in a lot of pain. I'm wondering if the floor is cracked. It's just messed up. Yeah, you can move. Move. Yo, everyone follow him on Instagram for taking an L. Getting followers makes you feel feel better no matter what, you know what I mean? Hold it, hold it up. Oh, it's not clickbait if we put gone wrong on the title, no, right? No, no, if we put broken bones, it's not clickbait either at this point, I think. I don't know, we'll see what the title is. But overall, I'd be lying if I said I was surprised by the Martinez situation. With Team 10, it's just rinse and repeat, and there's definitely more shit coming. I feel it. I feel like there's gonna be more shit, and some more people are gonna be leaving Team 10. Anyway, though, this is my video on the whole situation. You guys have been spamming my Twitter, telling me to make a video on this. And I'm happy to because I love ripping and Jake Paul. You guys know this shit. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're trying to hit 600k. That'd be amazing. So if you're new, subscribe. We make more content like this if you enjoyed the video. My Twitter is at CavusYT. My Instagram is Pierce underscore Cav. Go and follow them. I'm going to follow some of you back. The first few people to follow in a few hours, I'll fucking follow some of you back if you tweet me or you uh, post my Instagram DMs. They're, uh, they're open, my DMs, I think. People will DM me all the time. But yeah, thank you for watching. Again, I'm so sorry for my upload schedule. Uni has been crazy. We're getting to deadline season. It's been fucking crazy. However, I have a lot of videos now lined up. So expect some actual upload schedule coming soon. And Christmas, you know, we're going to be banging out a lot of videos. So yeah, please stick with the ride. I love everyone who stayed, stayed with me. You guys have been so loyal. I'm very lucky to have a fan base like you guys who stick with me. Ride or die. And anyway, that's it for the video. Until next time. Fuck off. Saturday night, chilling with the queen this Saturday hey, night. Hey. Ingles in my city this Saturday I'm night. Up. Driving on the left side of the road tonight. I'm the Ingles Elvis this Saturday night. Mini Cooper and your chick to my right. Fish and chips this Saturday night. London is my country, you can take a flight.